Hey guys, on this dive we are headed about six miles east of Key Largo, diving another ex-military ship called the USS Spiegel Grove. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the videos. Alright, so we're headed over to the tagline, which will guide us over to where the mooring buoy is to take that down to the wreck. And there she is, USS Spiegel Grove. It's a 510 foot long ship and uh, was sunk in 2002 for an artificial reef. And in its prime, held 21 landing craft, 8 helicopters, and over 300 troops. She's huge. You can't possibly see this whole thing in just one or two dives. You can see the deck here is just covered in coral. It's great. A lot of fish on this wreck. Right here we're at about 90, 95-ish feet deep, somewhere in there. We're going to head inside and uh, take a look around. Now, if you haven't noticed, we're all diving pretty much just one single tank. And even though we do have training for overhead environments, this particular dive, we're going to keep it simple and safe, and we're not going to go any further than just one room away from where sunlight reaches. And we all are familiar with the layout of the wreck, but we're not going to go anywhere um, really outside of where we can immediately exit. So, you know, if you wanted to explore these wrecks, you would take a certification course on uh, wreck penetration where you would learn how to run lines um, and all the proper safety procedures for making sure you don't get lost or anything like that. But for us, we're just going to go in uh, one room off the main uh, hallway there. And you can see there at the top left of my watch, but that's 95 feet. And just check that one room out. And then we're going to head out. And yeah, that's it. So not too far. We'll go back and check this out probably a lot more um, with multiple tanks and run some line and all that good stuff. But this is just a, a little teaser with one tank. Quick, easy dive. Buddy giving me the OK signal there. And you can see he has two tanks. That's really just a pony bottle is what that's called, hanging off his right hip. And that's about uh, half, maybe half the size of the tank on his back, just as an extra uh, bit of air in case it's needed. Now, right here off the side of the ship, what we're looking at are two giant anchors. Uh, and that, that's an anchor chain, really, that's hanging out of the ship. And there are some holes for it that you'll see. And this is an awesome shot of the front. Now, this is shortly after a storm. So you can see a lot of debris in the water. The visibility really isn't that great, but I just wanted to kind of back up from the group, get some divers in the shot so, so you can get some context of just how large this boat really is. Look at that. That's huge. That's where the, the anchor chain's coming out there. Originally, this boat was sank, and I think it landed on its side. They had to go back in and kind of lift it back up and reposition it so it was right side up for divers. Well worth the effort though. Yeah, we're about 95 or 90 feet here on the deck, so not terribly deep. Take a quick peek. the uh, bow of the ship there and we're headed up the anchor line and we're gonna ascend. But uh, yeah, that's the dive. That's just a small, small portion of the Spiegel Grove. We'll come back, dive some more, get to see the inside and uh, show you what it looks like. Thanks for watching.